Welcome everybody to another video of Ancient Greece Reloaded. Today we will talk about the famous T-Refs, the cruel Thracian king and the retribution against him. By the way, if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so to stay tuned for upcoming videos. Overall, T-Refs was a famed king in Greek mythology, mostly due to his cruelty. He was the son of god Ares and although not commonly named, some call his mother Vistonis, an ayat nymph associated with the lake Vistonis in Thrace. Tyrefs also had a brother called Dryas. Ares would give his son a kingdom to rule over and so Tyrefs was named as one of the kings of antiquity, ruling over the polis of Davlis in ancient Phokis, although most sources consider him a Thracian king. Tyrefs' story begins when Thebes ruled by Lavdacus and Athens, ruled by Pandion I, were in dispute over their borders. Pandion asked Tyrefs for assistance and an army was raised by Tyrefs, helping the Athenians win the war. To cement the alliance, Pandion gave Tyrefs his daughter, Procne, to become queen of Thrace. By Procne, Tyrefs became father to a son named Itis. Initially, their marriage was a happy one, but after five years, Procne longed to see his sister, Philomela. Eventually, Tyrefs traveled to Athens in order to escort Philomela back to Thrace to visit her sister. Nevertheless, when Tyrefs saw Philomela, reason abandoned the king of Thrace, for he now desired to be with his wife's sister. Tyrefs quickly invented a story about the death of Procne and claimed that he now came to ask for the hand of Philomela in marriage. So convincing was the tale of Tyrefs that Philomela readily agreed, as did Pandion. Tyrefs, though, could not bring Philomela back to his palace whilst his wife was there. So Tyrefs threw the Athenian guards, who had accompanied Pandion's daughter, into the sea, and finding Philomela on a mountain, forced himself upon her. He then cut her tongue out and held her captive so that she could never tell to anyone about his crimes. After he returned to Thrace, Tyrefs gave Philomela to King Linkevs. Linkevs was a king in another region of Thrace. Tyrefs then returned to his wife and told her that Philomela had died. Sometime later, Tyrefs heard of a prophecy that stated that Itis would be killed by a relative. When he heard this, thinking that his brother Dryas was plotting his son's death, he killed the innocent man. What is more, there are two versions of how Procne became aware of what Tyrefs had done. One tale says that Tyrefs had hidden Philomela in the royal court of King Linkevs. However, Linkeus' wife, Lathusa, was a friend of Procne. Consequently, Lathusa sent Philomela to Procne. An alternative version tells of how Philomela wove letters in a tapestry depicting Tyrefs' crime and sent it secretly to Procne, whilst she was a prisoner in a hut in Tyrefs' kingdom. Moreover, the prophecy would come true, for Procne discovered her husband's crimes. When Procne and Philomela got together, they plotted their revenge. Procne killed Itis, Hir and Tyrefs' own son, served his flesh in a meal at his father's table in revenge and fled with her sister. When Tyrefs learned of the crime she had done, he pushed the sisters with axe in hand and tried to kill them, but all three were changed by the Olympian gods into birds out of pity. Tyrefs became a hoopoe or a hawk. Procne became the swallow, whose song is a song of mourning for the loss of her child. Philomela became the nightingale. Incidentally, the female nightingale has no song. Let us finish with the following saying. Untimely pleasures produce aversion, Democritus. That being said, remember guys to hit the like button and to subscribe to our channel, it would help us a lot. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for upcoming videos.